Well, hello everybody, just coming back and continuing on David's bedroom. And as you can see, we've really ripped through it now. Um, got that sort of undercoat done and all the weed work that we did. Filled in all the holes, sanded them down. Now got the doors done, we're looking quite good. So the object today is to try and paint this whole room white, everything, just absolutely whitewash it. Um, ready for painting, skirting boards, just everything really, you know. And um, hopefully this severe mess which I don't like, I never like the mess that goes along with it. Um, we all tidied up and all well worth it for him. So we've still got another couple of jobs to do joinery wise and stuff, you know, we're going to have to fix this um, radiator cover for him and then get that painted. Uh, Rehung that doors and stuff like that, but nothing, nothing really major now. Fix a corner of the carpet over there. And I think what we're going to do is we're going to lift this carpet and uh, relay it. Um, and give it a good shampoo as well, I think. Maybe get Sharon on that and get, the, get a nice shampoo job done. But we're getting there. We're getting there slowly but surely. So here we are. We've got our helpers, haven't we? Hey. You too. And we've got vests and shorts on, haven't we? Yeah, because it's quite hot in here and... And we don't want to get on, no. on our clothes. Because you're only, you're only doing emulsion. It's just white paint, isn't it? But here we go, you guys. So David and Emily are getting this wall done for me. Yes. Look at that, my little workers. And we will have to bend down to get... You, you will, son. You've got that little one to get around it. Oh, hold on. I'm going to get the lights on. Let's get some lights on the situation. <coughs> yeah. well, look at this, modern. I could have had you do the whole room. Okay. Oh, you as well, David. That, that's a bit wet. Yeah, got all the clumpy bits. Any clumpy bits we need to get covered. Just go like that. Yeah, just try and do it as thin as you can. Try and get the that's the whole idea is get the paint as thin as you can. That's what I'm doing. But remember this is just the Yeah, this is just an undercoat. That's all it is. So. Dad, you got a little bit up there. Oh yeah, I see that. Have you seen that drip away up there? Got yeah. it? Quick shot. Oh yeah. Well oh, spotted you. Oh the So this is the bit of the job that I don't like. I like it when we're doing the actual colours. Hey. Mm -hmm. But this is pearl white. It is, isn't it? It's, actually it's gem white. So, white gem. we'll have to do another little uh, DIY dad video when we come to do Emily's room. Eh? Because we've only got a little, a little couple of jobs to make Emily's room done. Eh? There he goes, look at him. I just went from here all the way up. Good boy, mind of flatten it all out. Well maybe once Emily's done that bit over there, what we'll maybe do is get young M's to go over your bit with the big roller just to get all the clumpy bits out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, great job, you guys. It looks tiring. This is not tiring for me. No, I know, because you guys have got loads of energy. Yeah, but you guys are young. we weren't walking so much. Ow. Sorry. <sighs> oh. You okay, son? Yeah. Ouch. What happened there? I just did it. on the head. That's it, you know what to do. Rub, rub, rub. Let's see your face, son. Oh no, you got a bite. Can I see? Can I see, David? <laughs> the second time I got a paint on my face. Yeah, never mind, eh? Last time David got blue on his head. He did get blue on his head. We're going to make this room look very cool for the boy. We're running out of paint. Yes, I can see that. Right, I'll switch off so I can fill these, uh, this paint tub back up for you guys. Right now, so David and Emily have departed and left me to it now. There's just, guys, there's just no room in here. Absolutely no room. So what I've done down here is I've taken off that smooth edge, or what you'd call carpet gripper. Took it all off. We're going to renew that and taken out all this old insulation. You'll see all the bits and pieces there. Hoover it all up and uh, get that all sealed properly again. So I should have some really good new smooth edge up in the attic. And we'll pop that down, won't we, Sonny boy? Mm. Yes, we're looking good. But yeah, David and Emily have done their wall, look at that. They look a lot better painted though, isn't it, my darling? Yeah. That's just no use. But Dad, you missed that bit down <gasps> there. You're right, I did. Well, I'm just going to wait to paint this skirting board as soon as I get it sealed and get it all sorted out. Back to it now. Oh my goodness, what a time. What a time it's taken to paint all this, actually. That'd save you, the, save you that. But as you can see, it's really coming together now. You know, as you can see, you know, if you really prepare things really, really nicely, you know, sort of any gaps, it looks absolutely brilliant. It's going to look really good when it's all done. 
and um, his breeder shelves are now making a bit more sense as well, it's starting to look a lot better now that we're getting the rest of the room done. But this is the usual, <coughs> and you know something you guys, I am terrible when it comes to redecorating, I'm a really messy worker, you know if I'm doing joinery work or whatever, I don't know why, I'm just really messy and um, could really be doing with keeping the place a bit tidy as a work, but never mind. But yeah, and of course the, the big louver doors, they were the ones that really took the time today. And again, this, the white stuff really bores me, but you know, once we get into the colours. So basically, you guys, this is going to be green. And obviously, white scarping boards, light green to go with the dark green. The floor will be like a, a beige, creamy colour, so a wood paint, which will make that floor look really good. You just have to give it a quick, quick sand off. And then a few coats. So basically, that will be green. That will be light green as well. But that will be beige, and the one behind me will be beige. So it's just opposites, you know. But yeah, I mean, we sealed up all the way around the windows, and um, God, it just looks so much better. And no, oh, there is cat prints. Look at that. Cat has been up on here. One more, one more, no, two more coats than that. I would say, and make it look really, really good. But yeah, it's coming together, and David's really excited. He's been. Bunkering with Emily, we've got the camp bed out that we use for camping and the caravan and stuff, so they're, they're really enjoying that. But yeah, this is the sort of time, it's, it's just it is so boring doing the white stuff, you know. And um, we've just got no room, absolutely <coughs> no space whatsoever. So you just have to just kind of work with what you've got, you know. But yeah, so hopefully next time we switch on we'll be into the, into the green. Try and get all that done, get the floor sanded, get these doors put back on, could do all this tomorrow I think, uh, get these doors back on um, and guys hopefully we'll get the green and the cream and everything done, you know, and then once we've got the floor done, oh of course yeah and I put some in new gripper as well, you know the carpet gripper all the way around, and was sealed all the way around with the skirt and boards as well, new gripper down this part here, I think the last bit is just over in that corner I've still got to do. But yeah, yeah, it'll be worth it in the end. You know, when I think about the room that we did next door, because I'm going to show you that one next, I've just got a couple of things to do in Emily's room. But, um, you know, I did it for David when he was born. So, you, you know, you're talking like, you know, it was six years ago we did that. And I really took my time, like I have with this, and it's really lasted. You know, it's really, really well worth it. And uh, this room will do him right up until he's 10, 12 years old, you know, quite easily. But yeah, it's his birthday very soon, so I'm doing my best. We've got a, 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 got a TV down there from a friend that goes up on the wall over there. He'll get his PS4 and uh, a beanbag and his rug and all that sort of stuff. New lights, because it is pretty dark in here, really. And uh, that'll be us. Oh, Batman cars, look. Bought my Batman car one day and went away out to buy a raffle ticket and he won another one. So that was another thing. But as you can see, there's a main feature for us is the for us is the brooder toys, you know, and um, he just loves them. He absolutely loves them. And as you can see, yeah, they're they're definitely they're for him. They're not for me. <laughs> yeah. But what's he up to now? Including like the trailers and stuff. Twenty five, and that's been since he was two years old. The very first one was this uh, wood lorry here. And um, but what we're going to do is take them all out. And do some toy reviews as some practice, you know, and we'll call it David's Brooder City, and then we'll maybe start getting into building some uh, some new buildings. Um, I think it's a farm next. We're gonna do a road and a farm, and uh, start having some fun with these things for him, you know. So yeah, switch back on tomorrow, you guys. Hopefully we'll have get start really nailing this room and getting the sort of back broken, you know. And I think um, just as I'm chatting, I think you know the last thing we'll maybe do is that floor. Once the whole room's totally done, we'll hit that floor. We'll make we'll make that our last job, I think. And then hopefully we can switch on and show a really, really lovely bedroom. So guys, listen, thanks so much for watching. It's, uh, you know, like I said, you know, this is all practice for me, you know, and it's really good. You know, hopefully I'll start getting in front of the camera a little bit more as well and just try and sort of work out how to do that. But, uh, you know, for the moment, I just hope you're enjoying what we're sort of putting out just now. So God bless you. And let's get back to painting tomorrow. Okay, you guys, so back again. And uh, Emily and David are in the bath at the moment, so I thought I'd just zip through just to show you where we've got to. So I think just before us was all kind of white and 
so undercoated and whatnot, you know. And now, hopefully, you're beginning to see it come together. As you see, the idea is to have the, the cream on that wall in the green and get all this paintwork white. So, again, our cream over here. Let's have a quick look over here. We're green over this side where it is. You just see this is still wet. This happens sometimes with wallpaper when it's wet. wet. But it's looking really good. So, basically, you guys, last job is, well, last couple of jobs, was the radiator cover and this floor. And as you can see down there, I've been sealing up the gaps. You know, there's a little gaps in between. Sealing them all up so when I paint it, there won't be any gaps. You'll just sort of see the edges of the wood making it look sort of really nice, you know. So like I said, we've got to go all the way over there as well. But it's looking really, really good. Now this is the same colour decoration as Emily's room, which we're going to zip on to next, once we've got this one done. And I've still got enough paint left over from this to do our room. So all three bedrooms in the house are going to be exactly the same colour. And apart from the, the cupboards, but um, yeah, and if, of course you can see we've got all David's Bruder toys up in there now, which is awesome. And, uh, you know, just decor to do. We've got, a, we've got a clock to put up, some photographs of the animals and stuff like that. And obviously the curtains and whatnot. Put some breeder toys up on there. And uh, just put his room back together, really. So, guys, we're almost getting there. I'm hoping when I flip back on, well, I've got this floor all done and you'll just see the difference, you know. Make it all really, really nice. But, yeah, we're sort of getting there. Not a hugely complicated room. But, you know, complicated enough, you know, taking off all these skirting boards and putting that in. Nothing, nothing major, though. But like I said, we'll zip on Emily's room next and get hers all done, and then we'll get myself and Sharon's room done, and they should all look pretty much the same once we're done. You'll see, if, uh, as per usual, just dump everything in the middle on the bed. But what we're going to need to do is, I've sealed up this floor already, gave it a sand down, and it's getting ready to paint, but... What I need to do is get all this stuff neatly onto there and then refit this carpet that we've got here. Um, that's quite a big job. That's quite a big job, so I'm going to do my best. However, I'm not going to sit there and put the camera on and let you watch me doing that. <laughs> I'll just do it all and then we'll see where we're at. Throwing all that stuff over there. Now, all that stuff's on the wooden part of this floor. Uh, this floor of David's. And obviously this is his carpet area. And what we really need to do with this carpet is basically just refit it. It's tidy up the edges all the way around, right the way around us. And generally what you do with like carpet gripper, for example, I maybe mentioned it earlier in the video, but generally you have carpet gripper about 7mm out from the skirting board. And that gives you sort of the perfect lay for the carpet. If the carpet's a bit thicker, 10mm maybe. But um, basically with I'm going to get a hold of a, um, a carpet kicker. And what you basically do is you start from one side, you sort of go opposites, from there to here, and then from there to there just to stretch it out to get it all the way around the edges really, really neat. But the big thing this is going to do for me today is I'll be able to screw back on those sockets, just tidy up a little little bits here and there, get his bed back down, and then get his storage containers underneath, So and then put Bruder City back on top. And that is just going to clear this room completely, which is awesome. I need to change that cover there because it's really old. I need to paint that skirt board a bit again, touch up the corner put back in that um, socket there and uh, we'll pop it back in again so we're getting there you guys <coughs> hopefully you're enjoying it I mean maybe next time when we do DIY dad maybe I'll get in front of the camera and try a little bit of that you know yeah, I think it'll be pretty cool but for now I'm really just quite focused on getting this room done for my wee boy you know it's his birthday very soon so he'll be getting some new toys and he's getting his first ever games console a PS4 they've had a wee for a long time but, um, you know, he kind of wants a, a PS4 for Minecraft and stuff like that, you know, so. And you've got to make a wee boy's room a wee boy's room, you know what I mean? And this will last them for a while. So, guys, that's us now down onto the floor. And boy, oh boy, I'd shifted all that stuff there <laughs> on, onto there. And I've shifted it all back again now, just basically so I can get this, uh, this piece done. However, now that we've got this... Done. That's just like the first coat. We're probably looking at about four or five coats, you know, over the next few hours, and um, just to make it as, as bulletproof as possible. And um, most of that stuff can go back where it was: his toy box, his bits, and his boxes and stuff. You know, the things that go up in the wall. We've already got his teddies up in and out the road. There they are, up in the net. And obviously, the breeder toys are now still in situ, which is great. 
And yeah, but the cut the curtains put up as well. They're not really sitting properly. I'm not I'm not happy with the way they're lying. I think we'll get some more rings and make that happen. But yeah, there you go. And as you can see, I did relay the carpet again, but the carpet is just it's just had it. It wasn't very good quality when we first got it. And um, even using the carpet kicker tool. Let's see if I've got a carpet kicker tool handy around here just to show you. There, there it goes. Sorry, you guys. Yeah, so for those of you who might never have seen it before, this is a carpet kicker tool. And you'll see that it's got uh, grips in there, little spikes. And obviously, you just turn it over onto the carpet and you kick it with your knee to stretch the carpet right up to the gripper. But this carpet is of so little quality that it's actually made marks on the carpet where the where the teeth have sort of dug into, you know. Um, I've maybe set it a bit high, but oh, it doesn't really matter. So I think we'll just get a new carpet, I think, for later. But for now, we're going to get this floor done, all the masking tape back off again, and hopefully tomorrow it'll be back in this room. So that'll be the next thing, you guys. But yeah, um, radiator cover still to go on, and obviously this PlayStation 4 that he's going to get, what I'm going to do is take the wires from the box before his birthday and get them all running and really nice and neat and just ready for him. So in this... His birthday day comes, you don't have to muck about trying to get it all set up and stuff. But yeah, it's looking good, eh, guys? Deary me. And obviously, once we're actually finished, what we do then is what I always call touch up day. You know, you get right up into the corners and get those little bits done along the top, you know, just with a little tiny brush, um, you know, just neaten everything up. And that makes all the difference, you know. Absolutely brilliant job. And uh, hopefully, we'll get the wee money back into here tomorrow. That'll be good. Okay, you guys, so second last episode here for DIY Dad in David's room. And as you can see, we're starting to put the bedroom back together again. Got all his teddies up there. Um, now, the very last job we really need to do, so I'm, a bigger job, is um, fix this radiator cover, paint it, and more importantly, run the wires for his PlayStation 4 for his birthday. So that when we set a... Um, you know when he gets it we can just plug it in and, and just get going so that'll be great but yeah let's let me show you where we're at now you guys let's have a look let's even get a kind of wider view how are we looking pretty nice eh and there we go so we've got all this brooder stuff up there it's all sort of sorted out got all his clothes back in there and sorted out as well We've got Bruder City Fire and Rescue. This was a, a little building that we actually built together, me, David, and Emily. Um, you know, just just went for it. You know, it was really good fun, and that's the 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 start of Bruder City, as it were. You know, so we'll get back to that another time. But yeah, we're just looking really good, and we've got that shelf done as well. That one there. Now, for you Americans, we've got David uh, a Mac Lowboy, um, lorry, which is obviously really quite long for transporting around his. Um, breeder toys so um he's gonna be really chuffed with that i think so basically you guys apart from that sort of radiator cover bit there we've got little paint touch-ups to do i don't know if you can see the up there there's a couple of little areas that need painted again i need to get another socket cover that's a dead socket down there i'll just get a socket cover for that um and basically you guys you know i did fit the carpet but you know it's just so old you know i think what we'll do is at a later date we'll come back and we'll fit a, a a proper carpet in the room for him so just little bits and pieces and you know you guys it can be so easy just to walk away from a job like this and in six months time <laughs> you just forget to do all these things but we'll hit it we'll do a one day what we call one day it's a touch up day we'll get it all touched up get those curtains fixed we need some more rings for that and i need to get power over there for him as well for his bedside table a couple of door handles there and really guys just touching up just getting the, the the paint that we've used and just touching it all up so for the last video we'll do the little reveal for him because he hasn't actually seen the room sort of semi-tidy yet so let's wait until he's back from school right big boy you go for it. you open the door and have a little look and see what do you think awesome she's looking good isn't she yeah, I think we've still got a couple of little bits to do. I said that in the last video. Don't worry, we've still got a couple of bits to do. But look, Breeder City Fire and Rescue is there. Sorted. Here's your bedside table. Got your bed back together. All your boxes back underneath. Dad, did we... you make my bed higher? 
No, we will do next, though, son. Don't worry. Because, well, actually, the next job is this one, isn't it? We're not going to do it right this second, are we? It's this one. Yes, but we need to get a hold of your PlayStation 4 wires before your birthday, remember? The PS4. The PS4. Just before your birthday, so we can get it all wired in. Or a PlayStation. Yeah. So look at that. Great, eh, David? Mm-hmm. And dig good look at all your breeder toys. But you know we'll have to get the we'll have to get the light the new light to go up on there so we can shine it down that way and over where you are and over there maybe something like that. Hey, that is looking good. Oh, I don't know where we put this. I know. Well, one more one more minute. Just we'll finish off this video. You're just home from school, aren't That's you? My hiding There's David's hiding spot in behind there. What we're going to do next, son, isn't it? We are going to show you guys the brooder toys, mm -hmm. aren't we? We made all that in the first episode. And you, you made all, you made all this for me, didn't you? When you were, even when you were a lot there. Sure. And we made that as we well, didn't we? And Kyle, we that's right. Together. That's the stables, so we'll have to get that all finished off as well. And we can put a horse in here, horse in here, horse in here. And the tractor in here. Awesome, eh? So that's the Breeder City Fire and Rescue. The fire engine goes in there, ambulance, and then the fire jeep, eh? Mm -hmm. And if you'll see here, you'll see the fire engine, the ambulance. But Dad, what if we take... The fire jeep. Dad, what if we take those down? Why will we put other ones? What we'll do is when you get new ones, for example... But if you get a new one, we'll take this one out and put it back in there and put your new one in there. Like, if I get a new one, we'll take this, this, and that. That's right. Put in there. Put them in there, and that gives you space back up in your shelves again. And that. So we're good for I the know next what year. This is, is. What's that, Ryan? It's a. It's a. Hospital. That's the hospital bit, isn't it? Mm -hmm. That's for the fire crew to look out of, eh? Mm -hmm. And the police. The police and the fire engine people, they can heal. You can out the windows. And then if they see something, they jump down the pole. That's right. And this is a fire dog. <laughs> That's a fire dog. <laughs> it's my fire dog. So we've still got little bits to touch up in your room, haven't you? Little corners, bits and pieces. Mm -hmm. But we really need you back in your old room tonight, don't Dad. we? Dad, when I have you go, you guys. my two firefighters... They'll tell the fire dog to go out. That's right. So will we make a promise that we'll do Brooder City videos very yeah. soon? Think so. Because we can use your new bedroom, can't we? Mm -hmm. That'll be really cool. Dad, so what if this could be the concrete? It could be, couldn't it? We could do it right there. So listen, that is part four of DIY Dad and Son, mm -hmm. David's Bedroom, Dan. I think we did more videos. We will do more. We will. We're going to do... Oh, got Emily's room to do next, haven't we? Mm -hmm. Cool. Right, so thank you very much for watching, you guys. What you always say, please like and subscribe. Eh? <laughs> thank you very much, you guys, and God bless. Peace out. Peace out, baby.